So I've been really getting into like vintage film cameras. As you saw, I got the Canon QL17 G3 and I'm anxious to shoot some film through that. But I thought I would hit up some of the thrift shops. Thrift shops because this guy at work who had the Canon AE1 and he got that for $8. And I just couldn't believe that he found that camera with such a nice lens for so cheap. So I'm kind of hoping that I'm able to pick up a, a good deal or um, find some cool vintage camera too. about nothing. So, good. Yeah, even I was trying to, to buy a, a, the mug. A mug, totally. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, it's still functional. Oh, okay. How much would you want for that? I'm asking forty for it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good one. Take care. Happy holidays. Yeah, that's it. Do you have a dollar ninety nine? Oh, very cool. That's cute. Yeah, my grandpa really likes her. Oh yeah. So I'm like, hey, that'll work. That's cute. Very cute. But hey, there we go. Buddy boop. Little ball game. There are no film cameras. No cameras yet. Canon typewriter. But nothing yet. Had a film camera, only one.
Quick recap, got that Polaroid stuff and I'll, you know what, I'll just cut back to the house. Here we go. All right, so after all of those different shops, the last shop ended up being the best place. So I got the Polaroid SX-70 Alpha One LAN camera and three packs of film. And it's kind of funny, but I also got this really official, this 10% off the thrift store coupon. So when I go back, but yeah, so I got this there. Um, fortunately, it doesn't seem to work. It's a little um, messed up here, this stuff. And I believe this is also film as well. It's sealed, it says Polaroid on it. Here, check it out. So you can possibly see it that it's the November of 2008 is when the film expires. So, but this is kind of cool because I clearly knew what this was. This was a Ansel Adams photo. It is crazy how close you can get and how crisp and clear all the trees are. He showed me this case because he just showed me all of the like photography things that he had. But right here, it just says made in Japan. On the back here, you can see that it says Canon. So that's kind of cool and that it's in the original case. And once we open it up here, we can see that this is a Canon Super 8 camera. And I just thought this would be a cool shelf piece. It has the lens cap and everything that's just kind of neat. I really don't know much about Super 8 cameras, but something interesting that I noticed when I got home, you can see that it says K40 right in that little window there. And there's actually Kodak film inside of here. I don't know if they're still developing this or if this is the new Kodak film that I know they're producing now, but I thought that was pretty neat to see that there's actually film in this camera. Okay, there's that little thing which was stuck right there, which just fell off now. But yeah, maybe I'll get it developed and see what was shot on this. Inside of this, we have some guy's address here, right inside there. Um, and then we also have a monopod, a very short monopod though. Oh, it says something here. Cannon, chest, pod. But yeah, I think that's how you use this. Yeah, that looks right. I don't know. Look at that. You can do it with one hand. This was only $10. But I just thought it was really cool looking. But my original thought was to reframe it in this beautiful piece of artwork, but just to use this frame. But I ended up going to Goodwill, which was across the street, and saw this target frame and it's a little bit bigger because I've thought of like maybe masking this off 
and spray painting it to try and fade in the edges and just get rid of that because I really like how it's just a big print. But yeah, that's about it. That's my first ever thrift store shopping. I hope to do maybe some more like maybe next month or this might be like a once a month thing just to see what's out there, you know, because you never know what you'll find and I didn't expect to find one of these. That's about it. I'll catch you guys later. There we go.